Oh, basically the five million is gonna be split into three different contracts. Contract one is gonna be a milling and paving of three million dollars. Contract two is gonna be a reconstruction contract of 1.25 million. And the third one is gonna be a repairs contract of $500,000. The remaining 250,000 is gonna be used for administrative fees. The mill and fill contract, which is a milling and paving, it's going to involve removing of old pavement up to four inches uh, in depth and paving back new pavement. Reconstruction, it's going to be a complete excavation of the road, removing asphalt, concrete foundation, sub-base, curbs if needed, basically up to 20 inches in depth for the entire road. Other things we'll be looking into that is driveway aprons, sidewalks, and sewers as well. One of the things we're looking at is an outside agency to come in and rate our streets. So they're gonna score our street basically from one to 10. 10 being the worst case scenario, one being the best case scenario. That'll gear us towards uh, the streets that we're gonna be looking at first that need the most attention. We'll still be paving uh, streets all over the city of Utica. It's not gonna be geared to one specific area. So that way the city sees improvements in all areas of the city. What we're doing this year that we haven't had the luxury of doing in the past is putting these bids out earlier. We're hoping to attract more competition and by doing that we're hoping to get better prices on materials and items that are involved in, the, in this contract. This contract we're looking to put out in February and March which is a lot earlier, earlier than we used to do in the past, which was sometimes in May and June. And the reason we did it later in the year is because we weren't sure what the state funding would be for us, so we had to wait till the money is in place and so we can put out the contract. Right now we know that the money is in place and how much are we, we're spending each year, so we, we have that luxury of going out earlier. This is uh, the beginning of the year, so most contractors are looking for jobs and they bid more competitively. So uh, that means for us is that we might be getting a lot better prices. We'll be done earlier in the year than we have in the past. You know, we're not going to be battling weather elements and be paving in November or October. So the work will be done earlier. We're hoping to get better quality that way. I like this contract because uh, it, this is a preventive maintenance contract. We can use this contract on uh, small areas. In a million paving contract, we, wanna, we want to pave long stretches of roads. This is mainly used only for small areas, intersections, manholes, or that one good street that it's in good shape but it has one or two bad areas. It's a good way to save that street because we can go in and repair that small area and prevent it from cracking more in the future and it gives it more longevity to the street. We're working and planning together with Mohawk Valley Water Authority and National Grid before we start any road work on the specific streets. We'll be looking at our sewers on our end. If we have to do some uh, sewer replacement, we will. Mohawk Valley Water Authority and National Grid are doing their job as well and working together with us. If they have to replace a water main or gas lines, we can get a longevity out of these streets and we're not in there the next year and tearing that up for any reason. Lately, we have seen a lot of construction already with our sewer separation projects, which involved sewer replacement and road work. And now with the new paving program, You'll definitely see a lot of work all over the area, so we ask that the public be patient with us. You are going to see a lot of work. We're working for you, so we're trying to make the roads better for your driving experience. Since the 311 Epson was rolled out, we actually have been getting a lot of complaints about areas, and it's a great tool actually, we think, because some of, a lot of those complaints that we get are actually the stuff that we're going to be taking care of this year, so it's working one-in-one. -one. If you have a complaint, 311 app is a great way to reach us. Oh,